Okay, hi. I want to talk about the S-H-O-T or the J-A-B. Do you think it takes, you think it took away, people that got that, you think it took away their consciousness or their, con their God consciousness? Like, do you think it took away, um, their empathy? Well, a lot of people don't have empathy anyways, but do you think the S-H-O-T did something to people's empathy or did something to their, con I think it's a conscious, um, I don't know, I get a sign or maybe it's something to do with DNA because I get a, I get a sign and one time I'm in the parking lot with the girls where I used to work and um, they, they were talking about like what is this all about you know this this whole the lockdown and everything it's all about control and you know boosting big pharma and all that and um, but um, the people I'm with here now they would never believe that they, they don't they don't believe anything like that they're plugged in okay I'm just going to say that they're plugged in so they got plugged. <laughs> so do you think it made you think it might have made people like non caring like um the woman that keeps on commenting. I appreciate your comments by the way. Um do you think it made people more all right, so if we have a bunch of narcissistic people with the personality disorders, right? And then and then they're not smart enough to realize the damages of the you know what and then they get it do you think that possibly that they could that could make it so they get meaner or um it does something to make them um be mean and like with no god conscious no conscious am i saying that right i know i have i <laughs> I don't pronounce things correctly. My daughter's always giving me shit about that. She's always making fun of me, how I talk, how I pronounce things, uh, how I walk. Literally, she's telling me I walk too heavy, and I just ignored that. But, um, yeah, she was picking on me yesterday. She was like, make the water. She has this thing uh, for water, and, um, like, I'm constantly filling the damn thing up. I'm like, and, you know... I don't leave it. I don't leave it empty. I constantly fill that freaking thing up. And I told her, why don't you just get, the water is so bad here. I mean, literally, it's really bad. And um, I told her, why don't you just, you know, she can afford it to get her, like a whole house um, one. And um, I mean, she has one in her shower, but the thing is, that doesn't last forever. Okay. And then now she has to keep on buying, um, she has to keep on buying the filters for the little one. It's like a pure thing on her counter. Okay, so she's like, make sure you fill up the water. As soon as I get up, she's like, make sure you fill up the water. And I'm like, I'm always filling up the damn water. I'm sorry. Like, I don't feed into it. I just, like, when she's in that mood, I don't, I just, I just like, okay, okay. And uh, so, anyway, she could get a whole house one. And I said that one time. She was, well, when you get a job, then you can, you can get it something like that you know so it's always like these little snide remarks to dig at me um when she's in that mood of being mean but but she says it's tough love you know like I don't care I'm going to tell people like how it is which you know I appreciate that but if I just think that you know if they actually knew what I went through they would be a little bit more compassionate <laughs> like if I was a rape victim or a victim of a brutal crime, like, there was no way that she would treat me, that she would not treat me that way, okay, and, um, she was a victim of a brutal crime, okay, and the whole thing was, like, a big debacle, all right, now, I probably should talk about that, <clears throat> so, when this kid came in, and she's, like, all of a sudden, she wants, that she wants this guy, like, she just likes this guy, okay, um, and she, it was like, so now he's coming in the house, but I, I have very strong intuition, okay? I have very, very strong intuition, and I was just like, this guy's sent. Like, I feel like, I feel like some of these boyfriends, sometimes I feel like some of these boyfriends were put into my children's life for a different reason, okay? And my kids tend to jump. They jump into relationships. They don't, they just jump into things, and I'm like, you know, women out there, please don't jump into things. Like, give, work on yourself, and like, 
you know, give it some time. I mean, I guess you can always get out of a relationship, but some relationships will ruin your freaking life. Like, this kid, like, almost killed my daughter, all right? And I think he was a plant because he never liked me from the day one. He's in my house, and he has an attitude towards me. And I was always, like, really... He also smashed my truck. I was always, like, really nice to him, and I just wanted my daughter to be happy. So, you know, like, I don't know. I told her, I told her, I was like, I think he's like a spy. And she's like, he's not a spy. But he always had a freaking really bad attitude towards me. And I think he also stole my cat and um, tortured my cat. And I don't know what happened. But, yeah, he ends up strangling her. And he ends up, um, and he got away with it. Like, they let him have, like, an ankle, an ankle bracelet around town. And um, I guess his brother has a history of abusing women, too. And I guess his father has a history of being abusive. And the grandfather, I guess it's like a whole... A whole circle, all right. Well, he ran to Winham. He went. He ran to the Winham police, all right. Or the it ended up being in Winham. I had to go and talk to the Winham police, and like I was simply trying to say that we need to stop this cycle of of abuse. And no matter what I say, toxic people twist my words. They never are going to understand anything I say. They just hear what they want to say and then they twist it. So even this cop, like he's, I'm sitting there and my daughter's not saying anything and I'm talking to the cop and I said, like, this is a, this is a cycle of abuse. Like we need to break it. And, um, he's like, what do you mean? What do you want to protect this guy? And he starts like saying all this stuff to me. I said, no, you don't understand what I'm saying, but this is what happens to me. Like I'll say something and people just like literally just totally annihilate, try to annihilate what I say <laughs> or twist it. You know, it's like, so anyways, he almost killed her. I think he attacked her twice. I don't know. But, um, <clears throat> and I think he did it because she called him a little bitch or something. I don't know. They, <clears throat> but yeah, I mean, people that do things to animals, that's, um, what is that? Psychopathy? People that hurt animals are psychopathy or something? Or people that don't have any feelings and they don't care what they do to people and, um, a sociopath? I don't know. But there's a lot of that running around now, okay? hate to tell you. Um, just be careful. So so now, you know, and then even with my even with my daughter Holly's last boyfriend, okay, I guess, I don't know. Now they're going to start power washing, so it's going to be noise. If you hear the noise, it's power washing. So he, so he, he came up to the apartment, all right, and he, like, pounds my, the picture of my wolf. I had a wolf on the on the wall, okay, he pounds with his fist, all right, he pounds it, the first time I met him, all right, he threw a napkin right down on the ground, all right, so there's all these red flags that he was doing, so he throws this red, he throws this napkin right down on the ground in front of me, and he knows I don't like little bugs, oh god, now we got, we got, we got power washer, we got the, oh god, whatever, okay, hear the noise, so, so then he comes up north, and he, so he, first he pounds the my wolf pitcher for no apparent reason on the wall. And I was like, what the hell, dude? And then he's like, and then he's like, goes and he like tries it. And he pretends like he's strangling my daughter on the bed. And I'm like, dude, I, that was it. I was like, dude, why the fuck would you do that when you know what my family has been through? Like, literally, why would you do that? And he just turned his back to the wall and didn't even say a damn word. So, like, are these kids, like, sent into my children's life? Now she has a new boyfriend. Like, I don't even know this kid. She's like, oh, you're really going to like him? It's like, I don't know her friends. I don't know who she's hanging around with. But, you know, they could put you in bad situations. And I'm just, you know, what is this? It's creepy. All right? And that kid, I get, I don't know, that kid, Jake, he got, he got off easy. I don't know, supposedly some, one of the guys or somebody, one of the cops did something, like, hurt him grabbed his balls or something I don't know good good for him whoever it was but he ran away he ran to like Cape Cod he ran to Cape Cod after he did it all right and he posted on his wall after he did it and then his father said oh good job all right they work he his father works for the Kingston Fire Department and his father's like good job well I screenshot that and I kept it because I was like what the hell and then I said that to my daughter she's like oh he just meant something else so even after being attacked and stuff, like even it doesn't matter. Like they, these people support. They try to justify the 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 crime when it shouldn't be justified. All right, they try to put like 
they try to make excuses for the crime and support the criminals. It's so weird. I don't understand it. But this kid, right from the get-go, then he's in my house and he's trying to attack my daughter, Holly. And he's like, and then he's telling me he's going to get me evicted out of the house, okay? So there was a, like a whole setup because they had to send somebody into the house to find out what's going on. All right? Little spy boy. All right? Working for, his father works for the town. So, so he's attacking my daughter with some fake sword, right? And he's like doing something, right? And then ends up, and then police end up coming, and I'm like, I don't want, I don't want any problems with this kid. All right, I told Officer Paris that I don't want any problems with this kid. But I could have, I could have literally charged, I could have had him charged. I could have literally had him charged that night, and I didn't even do it. I was like, I don't want to have any problem. And then he was like, oh, la la la. And then this creepy detective guy wa- d- drives by. Like this creepy detective guy, I don't even know who he is. But I, if I saw his face, like in the lineup, if I saw his face again, I would, I would be able to pick him out. I don't know if he was a Danville police, but it was all a setup, okay? It was all a setup. And he did something to our cat, all right? And I think they did stuff to cats in Kingston. Just saying. Not that I can prove it. 